Here we go, are we going to focus? Hello, camera. No, apparently not. Oh well, this is useful. Hello. Come on, little thing, behave. It's not going to behave, is it? <coughs> Hello. Perhaps it's just... Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good grief. Right, today. Hello, I'm doing a scrapbooking process video with Citrus Twist March Kit, which is very, very pretty. I think I said in my last video. So I've pulled out all these wonderful things. I was wrapping this photo. Madam having a giggle. And here's my idea. So quite a simple one. I'm thinking of this little strip, maybe along the top actually. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to sew that with my machine. I want to layer up some pretties. Um, in fact, I want to layer up a lot of pretties, I'm thinking. Because all the papers are gorgeous, so I'm thinking of just stashing them all up. Like really, really thick, chunky layer of beautifulness. So if you imagine something like this, I shouldn't do it too tidily because I'm going to just throw it all down in a minute um, with some nice stripes somewhere. Did I want that somewhere in here? I've pulled it out, but I can't remember why now. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Um, anyway, yes, so lots of papers, all nicely layered up. Bag, glassine bag of tags. And I'm thinking I want my title. Let's pop her there for now. I'm thinking, oh, this is my title because that's gorgeous. So that could maybe go on its side there. It's very simple, this. And I loved this, loving this. So I'm thinking I'm going to tuck that perhaps here somewhere. Something like that. And then I have some threads coming off there. And then we've got all these beautiful little bits and bobs to tuck. So lots of tucking, as usual. Oh, and I had the idea of possibly using that somewhere. We shall see. We shall see. Right, I'll go and sew that down first of all, and then I'll put you on fast forward. Okay, so I've done my sewing there. And I'm just going to trim down my photo now. I like my photos in a square shape. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's just one of those um, habits I've got into. It's not really worn off. And for once, I don't mat it on white. I normally pop it on a piece of white card now. But here I'm just making sure my pieces of paper are roughly squarish, you know, that the edges are straight. I'd love to be one of those people that just cuts their papers with scissors and is fine with that, but I'm too much of a control freak. I like my edges to be straight. Now, I've not decided at this point quite where the photo is going. I keep thinking I must challenge myself to put the photo bang in the middle of the page, but I've not been that brave yet. <laughs> So I'm recording this with two kittens on my desk, sniffing around, looking for trouble. So long as um, Mittens doesn't climb on the keyboard and start a podcast playing, <laughs> we're okay. That's one of her favourite tricks. No, you don't. I watch you. I watch you. Right, so layering up the papers. And there's no real art to this, I think. Just, um, you know. Oh, I decide to scuff them up. That's right. With my scissors for a bit of added texture and it's nice to make things look a little bit um, like they've been through the mill. I don't know, I think you can either, with scrapbooking, you can either go for that clean, tidy, you know, immaculate sort of, um, sort of Paige Evans style, really, like really everything perfection, or you can go the other way. <laughs> and it's a lot easier to go the other way, for me, anyway. So, aren't these papers beautiful colours? I just love them really nice they remind me of um sort of easter egg hunts that kind of thing oh i'm just showing you what the kittens are up to muffin he's under there <laughs> mittens is over there look at the state of the lounge oh don't look at the state of the lounge sorry little um intermission there 
I think we see them again later. Scrabbling around. So back to the papers and stacking those up. Fiddling around quite a long time doing this. <laughs> Probably should have cut away the middles of these, shouldn't I? I'm actually being quite wasteful for me. You see how little of that yellow one ends up peeking out. There's loads of paper under there. Tusk tusk. Not very thrifty, Suze. Right, a couple of staples. And then I want some packaging to just um, pop up my photograph a bit. I like adding dimension, that really, I don't know, it just makes a layout look really interesting, I think. And when you've got it finished, if there's lots of different, um, you know, varying heights of things. And I think it's worth remembering too that even when you've stuck things down, they can still peel up. You can quite easily tuck things here and there. This tape doesn't hold too fast. Hello, madam. Kitten's coming in to say hello. Right, the glassine bag is going on the back there. And I tuck my journaling in there later. I actually end up cutting my own tag because the tag that came in the kit is just far too pretty to tuck that pink one there with the um, two different shades of pink. I'm not tucking that out of sight. So my title's going on next because I know where I want that to go. That just made sense in that gap there. No, stay away, please, madam. She's watching my hands on the screen. Is that fascinating? Anything that moves, moves quickly. Very interesting to Kins. Okay, that tag doesn't end up staying in there. So now I'm thinking, do I turn that pink one over? Have I got any paper could, that could do the job? Oh, now I've got sidetracked. It occurs to me here that I want to make something for that top right hand corner out of this lovely stripy paper. And I'm pretty sure this is a crepe paper stripe. It's so nice, isn't it? Losing. But it doesn't want to be that long. <laughs> Bit much. Doesn't even want to be that long. So I'm going to cut a fishtail in there with my nail scissors. I don't know why I need three pairs of scissors for this job, <laughs> but apparently I do. Oh, got me some paint now. I was thinking this was going to be a nice clean white background, but I've obviously changed my mind halfway through. <laughs> and some colour bloom. I forget what shade that is. It's a nice sort of tealy, minty colour. It's pretty. And I think I now pop that out of the way to dry off. And I'm afraid at the very end of this video, oh, what am I doing now? Oh, the kids are playing. <laughs> Muffin's under there, as you can see, and Mittens is sort of prodding her as she moves. So they're being very cheeky. <laughs> they're very fun. It's lovely that I know they'll never get bored because they've got each other to play with. Okay, sorry about all the tractors and things trundling past. You might be able to hear in the background. So I make a start on adding more bits and bobs to this cluster, but I don't get very far because the camera runs out of batteries, as it does at the end of the video, I'm afraid. It cuts off cuts off my end bits. Um, so yeah, I actually go and do something else for a bit because there's a limit to what you can do without your background to work against, if that makes sense. Oh, I do cut myself a tag. That's right, I get out a Project Life card. I think about using that one and then think, no, that's far too pretty. So I pull out another one that's got some nice lines, just some plain lines down the middle, which I think would look nice. So I'm using that pink one as a template and just cutting out another one. And I've got my new hole punch that does single holes. Very pleased with that. And that's made a good tag for my journaling to go on. 
So I'm talking about a trip. We went to Liverpool for the day, um, the three of us. And we went. To, we like to go to the museums there. There's a couple of museums that are free and art galleries. So we went there, but we got absolutely drenched. I didn't pack waterproofs. I just didn't think about it. It was lovely and sunny when we left. But by the time we got to Liverpool, it was pouring with rain and we got absolutely soaked. So that's why Kitty there on the train on the way home has got soaking wet hair. But it didn't stop her laughing all day long. So that's my journaling there. OK, what am I doing? This is dried off. Good. There we are, written out that story. And I'm thinking about stamping, but I think I leave that till later. I love these stickers. These are just gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> Beautiful. I'm trying to uh, not use all of them on one layout, and then that'll make them go even further. And I'm aware I want um, some bits peeking out from behind my main cluster, and I also want to start a little cluster up with that fishtail banner. So I'm just a little bit like a rabbit in headlights at this stage. I remember thinking there's so many things that could work for this layout. Um, and you know when you want to use them all, but you, you just don't know which one to pick up first. <laughs> so um, I think that, you know, when you're like that, you've just got to start somewhere. You've just got to pick up something and make a decision. Otherwise you could be there all day trying out different combinations and I'm sure there's loads of combinations that would work so I think it's just a case like here of okay something needs to poke out from that edge let's um, let's start with something pretty I love that little don't even know what it is some sort of ticket I think it's such a beautiful colour okay so I'm now trying to keep both kittens off my keyboard they're fascinated <laughs> this could end badly <laughs> Okay, so I'm pulling all those bits off my plate so that they're nearer my layout. So I think that's going to help me see what's available to me. That one I really like. I was going to have that sticking out of the glassine bag, but it's just so pretty. It's got to have more of a more of a spot. Okay. So I think at this stage, am I looking for something I've lost? I know at one point during this um, process, I lost one of the puffy stickers and it was right there on the desk in front of me. I think I might be looking for it now. Yeah, I am. It's there. I can see it there. There you go. <laughs> I thought I'd dropped it or the kittens had got it. I really want to use that, but I don't think I do. I love that sticker. Sticker, not a sticker, it's a label. And that's a Citrus Twist exclusive from the Cut Aparts sheet that comes with the kit each month. That little love. It's just on the most beautiful shade of pink. So that's going to have a, a key spot. Oh, what are these kittens doing? They're climbing on each other on my chair behind me. You're not making this easy, you two. It's like having twins. <laughs> Twin toddlers. <laughs> Every now and then you hear a crash from somewhere in the house and they've pulled something down or knocked something over. Kind of, you know, physically very clever, but not so much with the brains. But you're very cute, aren't you? I know. Okay, what am I doing? Oh yes, I'm just um, stacking up those bits and bobs at the top there. So that's all looking really nice, I think. I'm pleased with this one. I, like, I do like my layouts to be quite white at the moment. I'm enjoying Plenty of white space with just the odd colourful zingy thing that pops, you know. So, and I'm going to lay up some layer up, excuse me, some labels now. Don't want to cover up too much of my photo, but I do want to sort of soften that edge a little bit. So it's more, perhaps more of a, a triangle, really, that cluster, isn't it? Now it's making more of a triangular shape. And I'm just going to stamp half of a stamp onto there which works hurrah and I've learned not to stick down my label once I've stamped on it immediately but let the ink dry I'm learning this is cute I mean it's kind of daft isn't it I don't even know what that means Th 30c it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't mean anything in Britain but it's just really pretty 
So um, it's going to become a layering piece. I guess it means 30 cents, does it? I have been to the States, but um, yeah, a long time ago. Okay, desperately trying to shoehorn that wonderful in there, but no. What are you doing, cat? Do you want to come on my lap? Oh, hello. Yes, you do. That's nice. I've got a kitten on my lap. Okay. Oh, don't climb on there. She's gone again. Okay, where are we? Another label is being cut in half. I just want a little bit more peeking out from behind those other two. Just things look nice in... Oh, we're finished. I'm so sorry. Such a professional video. Here's my end shot. So thank you ever so much for joining me today. And I hope you're having a lovely day. And I'm sure I'll be back again soon. Bye, guys. Bye.